Yo, what is up, Soul Fam? It's your boy Chris with Soldier of Life, and welcome back to the channel. Now, today I'm gonna be sharing with you 50 things about Germany that's pretty cool to know. And we all like to get our facts straight. So, I'm gonna be trying to do this in under 10 minutes. So, if you're ready for the physic train, let's go. Before Berlin, there were five other major German capitals. These include Aachen, Regensburg, Frankfurt, Nuremberg, and Bonn. You know those times when you're doing something one late night Friday and it just seems like the day continues to drag. Or you woke up and you lost an hour? Yeah, that sucks. You can kind of thank Germany for this. Yes, Germany was the first country to adopt daylight saving time in 1916 because of World War I in order to conserve energy. Although the population is on the decline, currently Germany is still the most populated country in Europe with an upwards of 81 million people. I'm 81 million and one. One of the cool things about Germany, if you look at a satellite picture of the country in the capital city of Berlin, you can actually tell the difference between East and West Germany. And this is because a majority of those street lights were put up before the wall was taken down. Almost one third of Germany is powered by renewable energy. Now this includes sources such as windmills and solar panels. Trust me, if you don't know, when you come here, you will see them all over the place. I literally have one on my house right now. The colors of the current German flag originated from the Holy Roman Empire. Now this is a depiction of a bird sometimes posted on the flag, which is basically a black eagle with red claws set against a gold background. King Heinrich I was the first king of Germany back in 919 AD. He was crowned in a city called Quindelinburg. 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 Found in the Giesenkosterle cave in the Swambian Jura region of southern Germany was the oldest flute made from bird bone and mammoth ivory about made about 40,000 years ago. In 1836, Drakenfels, a place in the North Rhine-Westphalia, became the first nature reserve in the world. Triburg is home to the world's largest cuckoo clock, which stands with an eight meter long pendulum. That's a big cuckoo. Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, Switzerland, Austria, Deutschland. These five countries all have an official language of German. German is the third most commonly taught language in the world. I didn't know that. I wonder if, what? Huh. Is English number one? Hmm. The German alphabet has more than 26 letters and four of these letters do not have a pronunciation in English. The longest German word that was ever published has 79 letters. I tried to say this word before. It didn't go well. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I don't even know how to start this word. I can't even, I can't even get seven letters in. Donald Dump, Dump, German is one of the most influential, popular, and widely taught languages in the world. The capital of Germany, Berlin, is nine times bigger than the city of Paris, and also has more bridges than the city of Venice. Facts. Germany is home to the world's most narrowest street in the city of Rutligen. The street is called Sprüherhofstrasse, approximately one foot wide at its narrowest point and 20 inches wide at its widest point. I don't think any American car would ever be able to drive on that street. Now, one thing I know they're definitely doing right is one third of Germany is still forested. It's a really good breathing out here. <sighs> Big into animals, Germany is home to over 700 zoological gardens, wildlife parks, aquariums, and animal reserves. With Berlin Zoological Garden being one of the biggest zoos in the entire world with over 84 acres of land and 1,500 animal species. With most of them being older than 100 years old, Germany boasts more than 20,000 castles in the country. So if you've been to Germany or if you're going to Germany and you ain't seen at least one castle, you are slipping all over the place. 
The Norschwanstein Castle was built by King Ludwig II, or the fairy tale king of Bavaria. And this was in honor of his composer, Richard Wagner. Fun fact about that castle, King Ludwig II has actually only slept in the castle 11 times. In Germany, there is no punishment for a prisoner trying to escape from jail. Now, why is this? Because Germans believe it is a basic human instinct for a human to want to be free. I know a lot of different countries that can learn from this one. Germany is one of 22 countries that have outlawed the dethawing of cats. And this is because they find the act unnecessarily cruel. Now, one thing I know that I've never seen yet to this day, but when it happens, oh my God. But if you didn't know that running out of gas on the Autobahn in Germany is a crime. It is actually illegal, so make sure before you hit that Autobahn or before you think you're gonna make it to the next gas station, trust me, my brother, it might be a longer way than you thought. Fill up now, because if you don't have it, you're going down. According to German law, an infant's gender must be obvious from the designation of their first name. And one crazy thing is that the Civil Registration Office has the right to decline the name of your baby. So don't be coming up here with so Shaquani trolls or Jihafastads. Can't do it in Germany. Name your babies, regular baby names, or else you're just gonna be going back and forth with the civil registration people. John Jacob Jingleheimer Smith, you're good to go. One super cool thing about Sundays in Germany is they're basically holidays. Stores are closed, people are quiet, and one thing that Germans will do is that if you think that you're gonna be cutting your grass or putting nails into the wall on Sundays, you're a bit mistaken. It is actually taken very seriously here for you to be more quiet and observe the day of rest for Germans. Now, one tip for people that are learning German, know that it is against the law to call a police officer in the form of du. This is the informal form of you. I'm learning German. I would never do that now because I know what time it is and I don't need those problems. But it is an actual crime to address a police officer as such. So before you start talking and you don't really know what you're talking about, I suggest you try to keep talking in your mother tongue and then figure that out later. Trust me, unless you wanna find that can cost you up to 600 euro. For marriage to be valid in Germany, it must go through the civil ceremony at a Staatsamt. This is basically the registration office, which can cost somewhere around 30 to 75 euro. Just north of Munich, the Weihenstephaner Brewery has been operating in Germany since 1040 or 1040. I don't even know how to say that year. That's crazy. Thus making it the world's oldest brewery. In Germany, there are more than 1,300 beer breweries making more than 5,000 types of beer. Sorry, Budweiser, I can't go back. I just can't, I can't. Now, one thing they have in Germany, which is basically like the FDA for beer, is the purity law, also known as the Reinheitsgebot. Now, this is basically the law that dictates that beer brewers can only use the three ingredients of water, barley, and hops to make their beer. One thing that I definitely didn't know until I finally went there is that Oktoberfest is actually held in the last two weeks of September. And with that being said, at the world's biggest festival, Festival. Yearly there, people consume more than 6.7 million liters of beer. Now, one thing that's super German, if you ever watch a German movie about anything that's super German, is that in order for you to order one beer in Germany, this is how it's done. In order for you to order two beers in Germany, this is how it's done. Drei Gläser. It was at this moment he knew. He f up. School is cool. Free school is better. Since the year of 2014, Germany has made all state funded colleges free, son. And guess what? That's even to international students. Let's go, free education. We love you. One thing about birthdays in Germany is that you do not, do not wish a German happy birthday before their birthday. Why is this? Is because it is considered very bad luck. Now this goes back into the old fairy tale, translated into don't couch your chickens before they hatch, which kind of means if somebody wishes you congratulations before your birthday, you might not actually make it to your birthday. <sighs> During World War II, Coca-Cola syrup was 
extremely hard in order to get into Nazi Germany. So one thing for this is what they did is they created a very sweet orange drink right here in Deutschland. And this drink will be known as Fanta. I'm a great fan of man myself, but you know, orange is cool. Orange is cool. The tradition of the Christmas tree could be credited to a man in the Renaissance era as the name of Martin Luther. He was a part of the German church. Now, before there were 7 million LED lights on these trees in Germany, the first ones were decorated with fruits, nuts, and other foods. Now, one cool invention that Germans did make, yes, the accordion was created right here in Germany, which is still today a part of the German culture. After seeing some trained bears at a festival, a German entrepreneur went on to make one of the world's most known snacks ever. Yes, we want to thank you, Hans Riegel, the owner of Haribo, for creating the gummy bear. Schaumann, Handel, Beethoven, and Johann Sebastian Bach are some of the most greatest and influential composers that have come out of Germany. Germans are the third most efficient recyclers in the world. That is a statistic that you can live by because if I get caught throwing plastics in with paper and somebody sees it, they are going to get in my... At 102, Germany is among the top five countries with the most Nobel Prize winners and one of them includes Albert Einstein. The Germany Federal Highway System, or the Autobahn, stretches to around 11 thousand kilometers and yes that thing that you've heard 65 percent of this highway system does not have a speed limit being one of the leaders in the forefront to renewable energy germany has vowed by 2020 to shut down all of their nuclear energy services to make way for more renewable energy being only second to japan germany is the second largest exporter of cars in the world in germany there are more than 1500 kinds of of verse. Now, the four main categories are Rollverse, Kochverse, Brewverse, and Bratverse. I, I can't say any of that stuff. I'm only second to the Czechs, Germans are the biggest beer consumers in the world. One crazy thing, in the state of Bavaria, beer is actually considered a food. No lie, if I had food stamps, I would be getting all the beer right now, that makes me sound like a drunk. I probably shouldn't say that. In Germany, there are more than 300 different kinds of bread. I don't know about you, but I can probably name like four. It's like garlic bread, flat bread, sandwich bread. Is hot dog bun a bread? In Munich, there are more than 60 beer gardens. Now, some crazy facts about Germany. Uh, one, supposedly in some places in Germany, they actually have fake bus stops. Now, this is not to confuse people to go to the bus stop, but this is because nearby in facilities for people that have Alzheimer's, sometimes when patients actually find themselves outside, they go to the nearest bus stop in order to catch a ride home. Now, this way with fake bus stops, nurses are actually able to find their patients instead of trying to confuse them about different facts they just inform them that the bus is going to be late and they can go later this way they can bring the patients back inside and have them sit down until the event is forgotten all about that is some really cool stuff right there and number two is that in Germany only 71% of men stand while taking a pee the other 29% do it sitting down. And this is the difference between a Stehpinkler and a Sitzpinkler. Which one are you? No lie, I like the flip-flop. I don't know why. It's just, it's my preference. I'm a little bit A and a little bit of B. Little bit of Steh, a little bit of Sitzen. And that is all I got for you guys today. I definitely hope you got some information from these facts about Germany. If you would like to know more about this beautiful country, you can check down my playlist down here at the bottom or the cards over here at the I don't know which way that is, but, or at the cards over here in the top, or you can write me on my social media. I would love to hear you guys' questions and thoughts. That's all the time I got for you guys today. This is Chris with Soldier of Life, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!